All right. Hopefully, we are live now. My microphone is going. That's good. For some reason, the uh, the music in this in the main menu screen stopped. Huh. Well, anyways, hi, hello, welcome to Stardew Valley. Um, this is not a playthrough of any sorts. I'm just honestly, I'm just chilling out tonight. Um, I could have played Vampire, I could have played Ghost of Tsushima, could have done more Corpse Party, but I decided to not do that tonight, mainly because, uh, not that I'm tired, but <laughs> my brain has had a lot of taxing today. Uh, I want to say about, like, maybe four hours ago, I was just, I was doing, I was doing some lapping, and, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, not with the new characters, because Baby came out, like, what, two days ago or some shit? Um, but I wanted to get back in the game, so I was like, hey, let me sit down and do some labbing, and as I was doing it, and getting back to the game, figuring things out, my brain just decided to break on me. It just went, hey, you learning some shit, and you can't handle it right now. And I went, that's crazy, man. My brain is, like, busted and broken now. Also, I'm going to lower that down a bit. By, like, a little bit. Hopefully the game's not too loud. Or too quiet. Um, I can make it louder than that. Find the sweet spot. That should be the sweet spot. Yeah, that should be the sweet spot for the game's audio. Um, so we're here playing some Stardew Valley, gonna just relax, kick up a farm, you know, make some nice lemonade, you know, the things that you do on farm life or whatever, maybe have a ranch, get a wife, you know, uh, make some kids so you can tell them to do the farm work. So first things first, we have to start our characters, are we a boy or a girl? Well, I'm a boy. I believe this game has uh, a lot of options for, like, same-sex marriage and stuff like that, so that's pretty good. Skin tone! Well... I... I am not that. I'll tell you that. For damn sure. Oh my god, there's too many options. Alright. I think I'm just number two. Or eight. Let me see, let me get a side profile. I could be eight. And what's two? Oh yeah, I'm totally a two. I'm definitely a two. I'm looking at my skin right now. I'm on the lighter side of light skinned. Hair! Let's get a side profile. This used to be my hair. <laughs> this used to be my hair. Probably like, what, a year and a half ago when I was still growing it out? And now it's grown even longer. It's tied up right now though. This is definitely not my hair. That used to be my hair years ago. Um, what the hell is this? I never had that. I have, I have never had spiky hair, but I have had a bang. I mean, as long as my hair is now. I definitely, definitely had something like this before. But the other side, without the bang, was long, too. I have long hair. I grew my shit out. Oh yeah, I used to have this. When I straightened my hair and I just like, ooh, my bad, I'm fucking with the eye color, I didn't mean to do that. I used to have this when I straightened my hair and I would just like wash it, not comb it out, just get like spikes. Um, what the fuck is that? That's some style and shit right there. My hair's not that long now. Come on. It's not that long either. Give me like a good length. What the hell is this? Well, no, that's not. No. Oops. Oh. <laughs> that's me when I braid my hair back to having a protective style. I keep changing my skin color. If only if it was that easy. Huh. It's 
a lot of hair options. God damn it. Are those corn rolls? Oh. Little ghetto me when I was a baby boo. Not quite. I don't have the double bang. There's a lot of fucking hair options. Alright, well, shit. Alright, well, what's the closest to me? I guess I'm gonna have to go with this. My hair is nowhere this long, but... I've definitely had hair like this. Well, I mean, if I were to straight- if I were to take my hair out, untie it, and get it all nice and proper, that would be the end result. But it wouldn't be that long. Is there not a shorter option? Damn it. Well, I guess we're rocking that. My beautiful hair. Alright. Shirt. Where is... Mmm. Spiffy. Fancy. Let's see. This one. I think this is the one I want, right? Let me get that side profile. Just a nice jacket. Hey, a black shirt. I'll take that, why not? What is that, 31? Let me check my other options. Too many goddamn options in this game. Too many options for pixelated shirts. Oh my god. Did they update it? I'm pretty sure they updated the shit out of this game and just made so many shirts. What the hell? There's too many. There's too many! Give me back. Give me back to... What was it? 31? Just take me back to 31. Just take me back. Alright, pants. I'm gonna wear pants. Accessories. Beard. I'm not even, I'm not even going to. I wear glasses, but like... Is that a duck bill? Alright, well, we'll just leave that as is. Eye color. Now. Here's a little, uh, tidbit about me. I do wear color contacts. I haven't wore them at all this year. Or last year, for that matter, but... For the most part, I used to wear color contacts a lot. But... I guess I'll go for a... Want some, like, some purple or pinks? Wherever the hell that is, I can't really see. Hair color! Well... That solves that. Easy. Um... What the hell is this? It's like, oh, pants color. Okay. Um... I mean, brown pants would be fine. How does purple look? Ooh. Ooh. I might be liking that. Also, animal preference, uh... Dog. We don't have any little dogs. I guess this is the closest one to little dog. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. That's fine. my name. Well, don't mind if I do. That is my name. Name of my farm. Misty. For those who play Ruin Factory, you know where I'm getting at with that. Alright, favorite thing in the world? Well, my favorite thing in the world would be, uh, Hmm. What would my favorite thing be? Really gotta think on that one. Something, something really simple, not too crazy. Uh, let's see. Let's go with some tea. I like tea. I like tea. I like coffee a lot. I drink more coffee than I do tea, but tea is great. Soothes the throat. Wish I had some right right now. 
I have peppermint tea, I just didn't make any. It's really good, I like it. Peppermint tea also helps out with, um... With, uh, your digestion and all that shit, so... Yay. Skip intro. Maybe. We also have, uh, our options for farms that we can do. I've never done any of these farms. Four corners, the land is divided into four. Four parcels each with their own per perfect for a group. Oh. Actually, that's a lie. I have done a change of this. I've done this one because I've done co-op play with uh, someone else. And it was really interesting. The way the co-op works in this game is really, it's actually really good. Better than Animal Crossing. I'll give you that. Um, never did Wilderness Farm, never did Hilltop, never did Forest, never did Riverland. I think Riverland would be a fucking nightmare for me. So, we're just gonna have a standard farm. You know? We could skip the intro, but I'd rather not. Now, I've never noticed what the hell this intro is. I don't know if my grandfather's dead or not. He might just be sleeping. Right? I want you to have the sealed envelope. Deprived it from his cold, dead hands that are still moving. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen closely. Yes, I'm listening. I'm listening, Grandpapa! There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Oh, thank you, Santa. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Ooh, that sounds terrible. I like the music that's playing here. It's nice. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. And open it up, it's like a... It's like a... Open it up, it's an invitation to Smash Brothers. Now, let Grandpa rest. XX years later... The work... The work light is on. At my shitty desk job. Look at all these fucking losers. She's wearing a headband. That guy, that's just Woody from Toy Story. I don't know why he's licking his lips. It's weird. I guess that's me, just sleeping, sleeping away. And there's that cute girl I work with. Also, that guy's dead. <laughs> that guy's super dead. Hmm. I guess I'll uh, take that. Dear Fire, if you're reading this, you must be you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what matters most in life, real connections with other people and nature. I'm not sure about that, but okay. So, I dropped everything and moved to the, to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to the place, my pride and joy, Misty Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley, on the, on the southern coast. Southern course, wow. On the southern coast, it's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most pre uh, my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you're honored the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpapa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old bitch for me. Go say hi to the old bastard. <laughs> And then we moved, took a bus ride, and then we met this cat named Rover, and he asked me all these questions, and he was like, hey man, my name's Rover, where are you going? And I was like, man, a little bit of personal space, dude. Stardew Valley, 0 0.5 miles away. And that bird could just get shot, it would be so hilarious. Hello, you must be Fire. You're damn right I'm Fire. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Sure, why not? 
Oh man, this place looks amazing. Thanks, Grandpa. This is Misty Farm. Oh, look like some looks misty, all right. What's the matter? City boy can't handle a little bit of weeds. Sure, it's a big overgrown. Uh, sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath the mess. I bet the soil's tip-top shape after just sitting there and not being tended to. With a little dedication, you'll have you'll have it clean in no time. By a little, you mean a lot. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Pelican Town? Okay. Are there pelicans here? You know everyone's been asking about you. Really? Why don't everybody mind their damn business? It's not every day that someone who moves in. It's quite a big deal. I can see why. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. You mean shitty? Rustic? Well, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little bit more apt though. Oh shit. Rude. No, she's right. Don't listen to her, Fire. She's just trying to make you dis uh, dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. I mean... I mean, that sounds like a sweet deal. What are we talking about here? Got like an AC? Hmm. <laughs> look at that shifty-ass look she gave him. Is that new? Is that like a new facial expression? I'd never seen that before. Anyways, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. I ought to do whatever the fuck I please. The townspeople would appreciate that. I don't know townspeople. Why do I care about their appreciation? <laughs> look at her fucking shifty ass look. I love it. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in the box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. So the mayor is also the postman? Okay. That would that would piss me off every morning. All right. So, Stardew Valley, right? Uh I have played this before. And the furthest I've ever got in this game was I never completed even year one of this game. I'm trying to remember, like, the furthest, like, upgrade I got. Um, nothing too crazy. I was making, like, lightning rods and shit. Um, I never got to the bottom of, uh, the bottom of the mines. I think I made it to, like, floor 80-something? Or, like, 60-something? I don't know. I got, I got down to, like, the floor where it looked like it was, uh, Magma or some shit. I don't know. I don't remember. But that's the furthest I ever made it in this game. This game I constantly like pick up maybe once every four months or so. Play a little bit of it and then I go like, man, this is not Room Factory. I love Room Factory. Let me go play Room Factory. And then I go play Room Factory. <laughs> and that's pretty much what I do. You receive 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Mary Lewis. Here's a little bit of something, something. So... I have friends that do play this game way more than I do. They know not all the ins and outs, but a lot of it. Uh, for example, I never knew that you learn. Uh, I never knew that you learned recipes via the TV. Also, a uh, fortune teller. Check today's fortune. They feel neutral today. So the fortune will dictate your luck in the mines and with like forging and stuff. Apparently. I never knew that the fortune actually had anything to do with anything. <clears throat> oh man, that was a yawn. Holy shit. Can you tell that I'm just like chilling out? Weather Report is a cool ass stand from uh, part six of JoJo. 
and living off the land uh i think yeah i think it'll help me i think it might up not upgrade uh i think it might help level up my forging a little bit introductions getting started go make some soil and shit make some soil yes that's exactly what we do so oh man this is oh this is the beginning oh man my uh my my little ocd ass is losing it right now all right well first things first we got to plant these goddamn parsnips so we can make some money uh so make a nice little clearing i try not to cut these until i get like a silo because then that goes to uh that turns into like hay for your fucking whatchamacallits your little shitty animals so uh from what i know there's no way to trample your crops in this game i also wasn't counting how many fucking things i did there so Aw, oh, shit. I'm trying to remember. There should be an option to always show two hit location. That's what I want. Oops. Move forward. I think I that was like, what, five spots? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's six. All right, cool. Well, start planting my goddamn parsnips. Oh, well, shit. I plant them all stupidly. But that's fine. That's fine, you know, he's just starting out. Doing the best I can do. We can chop some trees. But before we do that, let's go introduce ourselves to the townsfolk. Also grab some of the stuff over here. There's a dandelion up there. I want it. Now, this game works like Harvest Moon. Have you ever played Harvest Moon? Rune Factory, as I stated before. Uh, not as much as Animal Crossing, because Animal Crossing is still pretty much tamed. Uh, compared to the rest of the shit like that. Uh, Story of Seasons. If you ever played any of those types of games, you know what you're getting yourself into, right? Now, apparently, this game blew up big time. Uh, I want to say, like, right before the Switch came out. Me, personally, I never found the appeal of this game. Until, like, way later. And then I was like, eh, still like Rune Factory better. But... This game does have its merits. There is a nice... I will say this game is more calming than something like Rune Factory. Whenever I play Rune Factory, I feel like there's like a million things I have to do at once. Um, over here, we can check the calendar, check for people's birthdays, and, you know, all that good stuff. And Help Wanted is for doing a nice little request that we can get little money rewards for, so... Let's check the shot. Say hi to people. Hello. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. Oh, uh, well, I guess. Ah, oh, Mary Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hi, Marnie. I gotta go behind the counter. Hey, it's Mr. Fire, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Don't you run away from me. Well, hello there, I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star of the Star Job Saloon. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into this old farm. Cool. I'm gonna go talk to your mom. Hopefully she's home. Because I do not rem I do not know everyone's schedules in this game. Uh let me there's another setting I gotta put on. Uh auto run. There we go. I like playing this game with the D-pad. Rather than the analog stick. I guess it's just because, uh, how the planes work out in this game, I guess. <clears throat> but something like Room Factory, I prefer using an analog stick. Speak to me. Oh, you won't speak to me. I gotta wait for you to leave your area. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. 
Good to meet you too, Sam. Now goodbye. Fuck off. Get out of my face. Hello. It's nice to meet you. You gonna tell me your name? You picked a good time to move here. The spring's lovely. Well, her name's Leo. Don't know why she didn't tell me I'm Leo. And so, is it just me? Well, obviously, it's not just me. I'm pretty sure other people feel the same way, but... Doesn't Leo look like... Doesn't she look a lot like Robin? <laughs> but she's not Robin's child, from what I can gather. She's just a completely independent chick. Moved in from the city. I don't know. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. I like Penny. Penny's cool. Uh, let's see. Anyone home? Speak to me. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna go look for her sister, Haley. Well, after I check these houses and shit. Here's Vincent. He's a little monster-looking creature. Oh, stranger. My name's Vincent. <laughs> Mom says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. D you hear this? You should beat his ass. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Well, you aren't exactly how I imagined either. Fucking, since you want to be like that. Like, goddamn. Um, let me see. Maybe I can catch, uh, what's his face? I think his name is Elliot. <laughs> Down here, because I barely see this dude. You can't enter his house without being, like, good friends with him. Oh, the new farmer we've all been expecting, whose arrival has sparked many conversations. I'm Elliot. I live in a little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Why the fuck did he freak out like that? <laughs> he started twitching. He started twitching by himself. Losing it. Alright. So, Elliot, Elliot's like a difficult one for me to run across because I barely see him. No one is home. I think this is Lewis's house. This is mine. Oh, there's old gra Granny Melty Face. Or whatever the fuck her name is. Evelyn! Her sprite looks terrible. <laughs> She's literally just melting away and dying. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Everyone does. Now come here and give Granny some sugar. And in this house, living with Granny, we got the old crickety fuck. <gasps> it's irritating to have to meet all of these new people. Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. You, you dirty commie. My man's out here fucking. Well, he's not out here. He's indoor. He's lifting? I've never seen him lift. I'm running straight into the fucking wall. Why am I doing that? Uh, let me see. I believe the saloon opens at three, right? Oh. Penny's in here doing dishes. That's cool. Um. I'm trying to remember who else do we have to meet. There's Clint. There's Gunther. Oh, I totally forgot about you. Hello, you must be fired, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Nice to meet you. Uh, there's this bitchy ass guy named Shane. Where the hell is Haley? <laughs> Did she come home yet? Well, this isn't even her house. That's her house, the one with the sun on it. Nope, I don't think she came home yet. Alright, well, cool. Damn. Uh, if she's not home, chances are she's either... Well, what is this? Is this springtime? Is this summer? Where am I? Are we in the middle of summer? What are we doing? We started in spring. Okay, um... I guess she's up here. Usually she's like, if she's not home, she's either up here or at the beach. Or in the little, like, forest area, or whatever the fuck. 
There's also other people that I'm going to have a hard time running into. But before that, let me head up here. This is the community center. It's locked. Alright, well, fuck you. Um. Also up here, secluded, is a homeless dude. It's a homeless dude named Linus, I think. And then this is where Robin lives and, and her husband. Which, I don't think he's home. And then, um... Down here is this emo fuck named Sebastian. Which, just like Elliot, I have a difficult time locating that guy. Oh, here he is. What's his name? Duncan? Demetrius? What's your name? Demetrius. Okay. Greetings, I'm Demetrius. Local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Cool. Ooh. What is this? I got a wild horseradish. Nice. Oh, there's more. Give me that. I want it. A stranger? Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> How many people do I have left to introduce myself to? Uh, my bad. Wrong. There we go. 28? Oh, God. Damn. Who am I missing? I talked to Robin. Like, Robin and Lewis was already counted for, so there's Sebastian, who I haven't talked to. Uh, I'm missing 10 people. Clint. Alex. Gunther. Jazz. I forgot Jazz was one. Um, hey, Haley. Who are the others? Oh, shit. Harvey. Maru. Um, I think the other two might be the, uh, I'm not sure if it's the wizard. I'm pretty sure the wizard doesn't count. And it's not those guys over there. So who's the other two that I'm missing? I mean, I talked to Robin already. Yeah. Who are the other two? Pam is one of them. And, uh... Sh shit. <laughs> um, I don't... Remember? Oh, well, here's Alex. Oh, hey. So you're a new guy, huh? I'll see you around. Oh, yeah, you'll see me around. You little bitch. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. I mean, I talked to Elliot, so Elliot's... Elliot's fine. I'm gonna pick up this dandelion. It's mine. Um... Oh god, it's 6 p.m., so I'm guessing the, uh... It's closed. That means the saloon is open now. Um... A lot of people hang out at the saloon. I think usually on like Wednesday nights or something like that. I don't quite remember. <laughs> Saloon's over here. Hey, party people. Shane. I forgot. Shane was one of them. Shane's an alcoholic, I believe. Down on his luck. Um... The cool kids the club over here. They're not here. <laughs> this isn't vampire play vampire. I don't have the brain capacity to play vampire tonight. I I I'm having a headache just talking right now, to be honest. <laughs> just chilling, you know? Relaxing. Having a good old time. Did fucking Haley go home yet? Oh, well, I don't even think I'll be able to enter her house. Nope. Nope, it's 8 o'clock. Can't go there. Well, shit. Hopefully my parsnips grow, though. That'll be nice. That'll be beautiful. <coughs> God. I am slowly dying. I blew my mind today. Just labbing combos and fighting games.
couldn't handle all the knowledge being pumped into my brain at once. Got a headache. Let's see. What is my fortune today? Let's see. The spirits feel neutral today. Well, fuck you, spirits. It's supposed to help me out. It's supposed to make me feel better about myself. I'm gonna get this farm started. It's gonna be the best farm ever. I'm gonna make a lot of money. And then we're gonna lose it all and make it all again. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be amazing. Gonna make like watermelons and shit. Get to your old watering hole. There we go. I got mail! Hello there. Just got back from fishing trip. Ah, oh, I forgot. There's a fisherman named Willis too. Or Willie. Whatever the fuck. Well, I'll go talk to him. He's got something for me, don't you know? And what is in here? Got some clay. That's good. Don't know what it's used for. Don't remember. Think I make like furnaces or some shit? It's a new ass farm. <laughs> I'm really out here planting turnips, man. I'm chilling. Honestly, I was going to play Rune Factory tonight instead of this, but I didn't feel like I had the PS5 plugged up already. Didn't feel like playing fucking. Didn't feel like switching out the cables and putting the switch in. Just so lazy. Um, I gotta head down to the pier. Think motherfucking Willie's got a goddamn. He's got a chocolate factory for me. No, he has a fucking fishing rod or some shit, right? I can become a fisherman. Fast to roast my farm? Go ahead, man. Stardew is my least played farm sim. <laughs> It'll be the best farm ever, though. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. you. Wanna roast my farm? Roast this guy. His hat's all raggedy and shit. Fucking smoking a pipe. Look like Pi Pi the Cellar Man. Man, kids will not know who the fuck Pi Pi is nowadays. Oh my god. Or Pi Pi, however the fuck you want to pronounce his name. I'm ghetto. Anyways, I'm still trying to unwind from a month, a month out on the salty sea. I can see that. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. How much does a fucking rod cost? <laughs> Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that our, uh, that's the art of fish and stay alive. And hey, maybe I'll buy something from my shop once in a while. Maybe. I think the only thing I ever buy from a shop is like a better fishing rod. I got a bamboo pole. Great. Is it telling me to throw shit out? <laughs> yeah, it's telling me to throw shit out. I forgot I gotta get a fucking, um... Get rid of this fiber. I gotta get a, um, a backpack upgrade. If I don't, I'm fucked. There we go. <coughs> There's good water here in the, v in the valley. All kinds of fish. That's great to know, man. That's really good to know. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need any supplies. Also buy anything for that you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> I don't think that works that way. <laughs> Willie got more pussy in his 20. <laughs> God damn. Caught the Moby Dick of fish. What, the, the Sea Guardian? <laughs> Fuck am I doing? Well, at least my hair is nice and sweet. It's lush and long and beautiful. I got purple pants. <laughs> I'm feeling nice. Got purple pants, got this swinging ass coat. Got a good ass coat like I'm Leon Kennedy from RE4. That's a bitchin' ass coat, I love it. Let me go put this shit in a goddamn trunk somewhere cause I'm, I'm running out of space. And I don't know, you know what, I can just sell it. I mean, I'm not going to be using it, right? I can sell these flowers and shit. Oh, what's here? Let's see. 
I'm running low on topaz. If someone could bring... Well, I'm not getting no fucking topaz. That's not happening. Now, how much is this? 2,000? What, I got 500? Damn. You just wait till my parsnips grow. Bastard. There you go. You can have the, all, all those. There you go. I can be Coop and LaCroix right now instead of fucking around with Turnip Simulator. Hey, man. I don't have enough mental capacity to deal with that tonight. You gotta pay attention to that game. This game, I ain't gotta pay attention. Who knows? Maybe I'll play some Dead by Daylight tonight. Maybe. Sneak around, be spooky. There's plenty of time for vampiring later. Why am I carrying a goddamn rock? Oh man, I don't even have a goddamn chest to store shit in. It's time to chop down some fucking trees. That's fine. I'm good. I'm not in for the money. Never have. Never will. Well, I can't say never will, you know. Somebody sit here and they go like a million bucks. I can't just, can't sneeze at that, you know? It's crazy. <laughs> That's insane. Me. Why not just chill and relax tonight? Plant some seeds. Think about. COVID's had us locked in for who knows how long. It might have us locked in some more. Got like a new strand going around and shit. I need 50 pieces of wood for that. Damn. No, reconnect with nature. Now I have enough for... There we go. Beautiful. Isn't that just lovely? I'll set it out here. Well... Where would I set this at? I'm gonna set this over here. Now get the fuck out of my inventory. Cool. Gonna run around. Gotta still finish my introductions to the people. Let them know, hey, I'm here. I'm rocking a farm. Look at these fucking birds. Scare them away. Get out of here. Rubbish to the trash like a like a gremlin. Because no one can stop me. Don't feed me after midnight. <laughs> Watch some newbie fuck around. Yeah, man. I mean, hey. You got Stardew tips? Tips and tricks? I wouldn't say I'm a complete newbie, you know? I've made it places in Stardew before, just never really played that long. Because Rune Factory's better, that's right, I said it. Talk to this motherfucker, introduce myself. Gotta introduce myself to Gunther, I think. <laughs> he said, yeah, you lucky I like you. <laughs> Why, hello. Hi. Hi to you, too. <laughs> Gunther, speak to me, buddy. Hello there. Welcome to Stardew Archaeology Office. Yeah, that's nice, Gunther. That's nice. Good day. Alright, who am I missing? I talked to Shane, talked to Pam... Talk to. I did not talk to Sebastian because that motherfucker is just gone. I want these tips? You better hit up my Vimeo. <laughs> That's nice. I talked to this dude, Martin Mystery looking ass. Exactly, Martin Mystery's looking at motherfucker. Remember that show? That was such a great show. Oh my god. Most people don't remember it because it got over it got overshowed by um by totally spies. Where the hell is Haley? 
Is she fucking around in the forest? She's not upstairs. If she's not up here near the playground, she's fucking around in the forest somewhere. There you are. Looking all over for you. Oh, hey, you're a new farmer boy, aren't you? Yes, I am. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright. So, it was her, Sebastian, and... Harvey. I can never get Harvey to leave his fucking... His little goddamn... Home. Got no mods installed? Of course I got no mods installed. I'm playing on console. <laughs> I'm not on Steam. I don't feel like doing all that work. I don't want to play on mouse and keyboard. <laughs> the hell out of here. I hate that. It has its places, but, you know. Motherfucking Sebastian. I gotta wait for this fucking fool to show up. I know I can catch him. If he's not down here from time to time, I can catch him uh, hanging around at the bar. But the dude just stays locked up in his house all day. I think he's like a programmer or some shit. Hey, uh, not in a good mood right now. Oh shit, alright, I'll back off. That's fine. I see how it is. Keep it real. Alright. Look at this fucking... Look at this motherfucker. It'd be just a cool place to hang out and soak up some rays. Fucking... Fucking... This guy. <laughs> Too much. Too much testosterone being pumped in there. I believe you can actually play the arcade games in here. God, I'm waiting for these fucking fools to show up. I just need Sebastian to show up. And Harvey. But she doesn't. It's locked. Let me see. Till three o'clock. Well, three o'clock been passed. Where the fuck does Harvey live? I'm really trying to remember. Where does Harvey go? When he fucks off. I don't even I don't even think I know where the dude lives. <laughs> I think he just lives inside I think he just lives inside of here to be honest. He just stays in there for most of the time. Alright, well, shit, fuck it, I'm going to bed. Doesn't seem like Sebastian's coming out. Harvey never leaves his house. That's fine, I'm taking my ass to sleep. That's what I'm doing, get my energy back. Let my parsnips grow, make some money. I could do some fishing. Oh, look at that, forging level one up. Could do some fishing. Level up my fishing skill. 6 a.m. Let's see. It's neutral today. Well, it's raining. That means I don't gotta water no crops. And if I ain't gotta water no crops, that makes me a happy camper. I got a fucking stone. Thanks. All right, time to, time to tame the wild. A true man's journey, fishing. I never actually been fishing in real life. I wonder if I would like it or not. I probably might like it. I've never been fishing, but I've been, uh, what is that shit called? Um... Ah oh, man, I forgot what it's called. It's like you uh you put on boots and you head to like the low tides and uh the lower high tides or whatever. And then you take you and someone else take like a net. <laughs> you and some dude take a take a net and you kind of just grab what's there. So you get like some clams, some like pencil fish, maybe some starfish here and there, a little bit of baby jellyfishes and shit. 
I forgot what it's called. I think it's called like weighing or waiting or something. I don't remember. Now I hate the way fishing works in this game. They give you like this stupid mini mini game with like a bar and shit. And sometimes the fish just goes places. Doesn't stay put. It seems simple, but it gets like stupid difficult later. I got an anchovy. I'm an anime dude, so maybe I can help. Okay. Shoot your shot. I'm an anime dude, but... But, you know, there's some people that... That are a little too crazy. Like, I never, I never, uh... Well, I'm not gonna say never, but, like... I'm not the guy who would sit there and be like, I need to buy all these figures. Because, I mean, what am I gonna do? Stare at them? Fucking fish. Come here, you piece of shit. Oh my fucking god, I hate you. I hate you so much! Come on. Get me something good. Come on, fish, bite. There we go. Ah, I got trash. I got seaweed. God damn it. And now my inventory is super full. I'm gonna eat it. Can I not eat it? Ah, oh, shit. Well, damn it. Can't even catch anymore. Fuck. Full ass inventory. Alright. Give me a second. I will read that in a moment because Twitch is a pain in the ass. It's one oh man, it's Wednesday. That means the general store is closed. Ah, oh, fuck me, dude. You kidding me? General store is closed. I guess I can sit out here in the rain for a bit. Let me see. Alright. You discovered Monster Girls tonight. Oh. Okay. Alright. Alright, hold up. So you mean... What you mean is... <laughs> he said, oh yeah, go ahead, Automod. I always forget to take it down. I just, I'm just so busy doing other shit that I just, whenever I fix things up for the stream, it takes, I basically do them at last second. Um, so you mean like Monster Musume, right? Huh. Well, let me just console over here my collection of Monster Musume manga. That's right. I said that I don't buy figures. I never said nothing about manga. Uh-huh. I bought them. That's right. Also, I don't like spiders. <laughs> You're watching this shit. Oh, it's called Moss Girl Doctor. Oh, what? I don't even know what that is. Is that new? Does it say the year it was made? I've never heard about that. Like, I heard Monster Musume. I've heard Interview with a Monster Girl. I heard, like, Life of Monster Girl or whatever the fuck. Those other two suck. Monster Moose Maze is the only actual good one. Um, I mean, Rosario Vampire. It's got one season. Does it say when it was released? I don't know nothing about that. Let me look at this. Let me look this up. What the hell? I ain't never heard that a day in my life. Let's see. said it was called Monster Girl Doctor. What the fuck? I mean, I've also watched <laughs> I've also watched an anime that Funimation took down because they basically just greenlit it softcore hentai. But um uh what was it like? Was it last year or was it I think it was towards the end of 2018. Um let me see Monster Girl Doctor. Well, there's the Oh, uh, here's Crunchyroll. What is the what is the release of this? About the show. Twenty twenty light novel. Oh, so it's it's fairly new. Okay. Audience gotta be like, fuck that. <laughs> 
listen, man, uh, the dual, the duality of man, right? When man was graced on this planet, they came up with two questions. It was, can I kill it? My bad. It's three questions. It's, can I kill it? Can I eat it? And can I fuck it? Um, that last one has been stretched for a long time. I mean, I haven't seen any, I haven't seen that because that is fairly new. I'm guessing that's this season of anime. Um, but I'm waiting for this fucking saloon to open. That's what I'm waiting for. But, um, from what I know of Monster Musume, I know I don't like spiders, but the moment they introduced the spider chick in that, in that fucking manga series, I just went, yeah, I'm about that. Yeah, I'm I'm not above that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how they, I don't know how people do it. If you really want to be confused about that type of shit, um I I um recommend that you hobble over to Netflix cuz Netflix has the rights for it. Uh and you pay tribute to our furry overlords and watch Beastars. And then you sit there and you're like, how can a, how can a deer and a rabbit and a wolf look this damn sexy? It makes no sense. Like, I remember, I remember, I've heard about that, like, series. Like, back when Japan was getting the fucking first season of that. And then it came to the West, and I was like, listen, hear me out, guys. You have to watch this. It's actually really fucking good. I know it's weird. I know it's freaky. Remember when I told you to watch JoJo? You didn't listen to me then. You should really listen to me now. Remember when I said watch Demon Slayer because it, before it got too popular? Didn't listen to me then. You should really listen to me now. Watch Beastars. And then they looked at me, and they said no. And then one guy said, I'll watch it. And then he watched it, and it was, it all, it was all downhill from there. <laughs> it was like, what? He's like, wait a minute, but how? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Well, shit. I just basically waited out here for no reason. I was hoping that, like, the cool kids would show up. I want Sebastian to show up. So I can talk to him. Get my stupid introduction out the way. Can I dig down with some monsters fucking just as long as you got? Let me see. Is it gonna kill you? I don't know, maybe depends. <laughs> it depends on which uh, species takes over. <laughs> They're like main uh, objectives there. How do you even get down with a spider? Well, the way they do <laughs> a Lamia. Well, Lamias, you just, they just have like, you know, they, they have a hole, right? Uh, you gotta remember, they're not just animals 100%, they're also part human. So, oh, here you are, you son of a bitch, talk to me. There you go, got your introduction out the way. Now I'm waiting for fucking Sebastian's bitch at, there he is. Thank you, holy shit. Alright. Give someone a gif. Oh, really? Fuck, who likes she shells? I think Haley likes them. And cut her off in her house. If she's not laying in her bed. Yeah, but if you if you want to answer that question thoroughly, um there ah, oh, she lays in her she stays in her room when it rains. Fuck me. Damn it. If you want to answer that question thoroughly, right? Like I said earlier, there was a uh there was an anime series that came out last year that was that was uh produced by Funimation, and they quickly took it off tuck it off their site and just threw it away and pretend it didn't exist because they basically soft they they greenlit it soft soft core hentai without somehow noticing it I don't know how because they would have to review the manga series before even like looking at the show um somehow it got greenlit nobody knows and then uh I'm just going to sell all this. I don't really need it at this point. I know people are losing their shit over it right now. And then, um... And then some genius, some wonderful genius, said, Alright, since you guys tucked this off the air, um, I'm just going to take 
all of the existing episodes that come out and throw them on Pornhub. So literally, I think at this point, the only way to watch that show, unless it somehow ends up on Hulu or something, um, is to go into go on to Pornhub. It might have been taken down. I heard recently that Pornhub tucked down a lot of shit because of something, but I'm not sure if it's there or not. But go on to Pornhub or some hentai site or something and just type in uh, interspecies reviewers. I remember watching it and I was I watched like the first two episodes and I said, I don't know why they tucked this down. People are kind of pussy about it. So what? It shows boobies here and there. What anime hasn't done that? And then I got to episode three and I went, oh no. Oh, oh, this is too much. <laughs> I was like, I can see now I have become cultured. All right, I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Oh, well, fuck you. I know that. I'm going to buy a backpack. Just give me some time. Jesus. Also, I love this music that plays. Do 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 do. Bum 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 ba dum bum bum ba dum. Like I just want this. I just want this track to play, hundred percent of the time. It's nice, but the track changes from time to time. And I'm just like, oh, it's not good. It's not as good as this one. Tell me how to fuck a spider. Hey man, I'm just saying. I just, like, I watched the show and I was like, well, I read the manga, then I watched the show and I was like, man, she's really into freaky shit. Also, Monster Musume, since she's a spider, her uh, kink, I guess, is, uh, is bondage. She likes wrapping things up in her web. To the point where she finds another monster girl and she's just like, yeah, <laughs> I got you in my web. She's also the most badass out of all the characters. Cause shit go cause shit just goes south and then she'll instantly just throw her web out like it's a whip. Start cracking it. Beating the shit out of people. She's like, oh no. Yeah, but it's uh <laughs> Hey man. Somehow people somehow people just, you know. You know, you just get there. You find a way. God always finds a way, nature always finds a way, you know? Listen. Listen, if Zeus can run around fucking whatever he wants, so can I. <laughs> Remember, you, you think, you think hentai and, uh, like, animal, uh, animal, and, like, furry anime and shit is, like, the crazy of this. Don't forget that the Greeks... We're like, yeah, man, Zeus just turned into a goose and some chicks would just fuck him. They just fucked the goose. You play Assassin's Creed Odyssey, dude's like, hey, man, there's a goat in the room with us. You want to fuck the goat with us? And whether you play as a male or female, both options are just like, you can just go like, yeah, man, I'm down for that. I'm down to have a huge orgy with a goat. Motherfucker, now I'm the goat. So it's not just anime. I got a flower for you. Thanks, it looks nice. Well, you're welcome. I got money for being nice. That's great. That's amazing. All right. Now I just got to grow my fucking parsnips. And I'm pretty sure the, uh, whatchamacallit up here isn't done yet. This would also be a good time to go grab some more parsnips and just plant them. Spend it all, you know, like invest. See. Need a brine for suit. Well, go fuck yourself, Alex. I just. I should just plant the parsnip seeds, shouldn't I? It's gonna make me more money down the road. Oh, that's way too much. That's way too many. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's way too many. <laughs> monster fuckers were flourishing. Now I'm a monster fucker. How the tides have changed. Listen, man. Everyone thinks they're gangsta. Like, listen. 
I remember growing up playing Pokemon. Everyone's all like, that's a kid's game. Why are you still playing that? Now everybody talking about I love Pokemon since I was a child. Stop fucking lying to me. Why are you lying? Out here lying ass talking about I like Pokemon since I was a child. You were the same motherfucker who was berating me. Now it's cool to be a nerd, right? Now it's cool to like superheroes. Right? Now it's all cool. What do you mean, man? I always liked uh, Black Panther. You know, it was really cool. You know, he's from Wakanda, Wakanda forever, right? And I'm like, dude, really? He's like, yeah, man. I love it. <laughs> Now everyone want, loves Dragon Ball Z and Naruto. When I was a kid, everyone fucking hated it. Now I'm the uncool one when I sit there and I go... When I sit there and I go, man, fuck Naruto, this story sucks. Because it does. I mean, Naruto was good. All the way up to the Chasing Sake arc. And then Shippuden happened. And then it was good until the Pain arc. And then it died. And that's where it ended. It never continued from there. Ever. Same thing with Dragon Ball. You know? Dragon Ball was cool. <laughs> then Dragon Ball Z happened. They made it all the way to the to the Android saga. They beat Cell and then the show ended. And then they made like an OVA. And then about like some dude named Kid Boo, and that was cool. And then and then it ended. It never continued after that. You know? It just it ended right there. Nothing ever happened after that. Ever. Never, ever, ever. What you think happened, it's just fanfic. It's not real. With that all said, Super is actually pretty fun to watch. It's fun to watch, but it's not a good story. <laughs> about some RNS? What's RNS? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the guy to, like, abbreviate shit, to be honest. I don't, like, I never call Call of Duty COD. I just go Call of Duty. So what's RNS? I don't know what that is. Sounds fancy. I'm gonna cut this up. Uh. Give me some motherfucking parsnips. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Go ahead, shoot for the sky. Um. Fuck. Why? There we go. What's that fucking clap in that song? You know, you know the song knows it's bumping when you start clapping. I don't think I have enough energy to plant the rest of these parsnips. I'm gonna pass out and die. Alright, well, shit. But yeah, go ahead and ask. <clears throat> I need to drink my water. I'm fucking dying here. That's what's happening. Aw, oh, the song ends. I wish the song didn't end. It's so, it's so nice and calming. Is Haley up here? If Haley's up here, I can throw her. Ah, oh, there you go. Bam. For me, thank you. There you go. I remember the first time I played this game, I was walking around, met all the villagers, and I was like, man, everyone here is an asshole. Especially Haley, because she's just like, oh man, you're a farmer boy covered in dirt. You suck. Let me see. I decided I'm going to organize my clothes today. I'll have to throw out all the last year's tiles to make room for the new ones. And then fucking, uh... <laughs> she started attacking me. And I was like, alright, if she's going to hate me, then I'm going to... I'm going to do everything in my power to make her fall in love with me in this game and marry her, and then I'm going to never play this game ever again. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. I said, I'm married now. I win. Haha, -ha. who's a loser now? And then I deleted the save file. 
I was like, take that. How dare you? Why, hello. Alright, let me see. I'm out of energy. I should go fucking rest up. Um... Oh yeah, no, for real. People are people are crazy. People are crazy with that no mask shit. I don't I don't know I don't know where they I don't know where they get it from, right? You know? And also when they're like, man, I'm just gonna have my mask on halfway. Right? Um, uh, let's see. Oh, spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Oh, that's not good. That's bad. That's real bad. My parsnips! They're done. I just ate one by accident. Fuck. Did not mean to do that. Let me... Let me throw this shit away. So I don't... Wait, no. What am I doing? Start saving up wood and fiber and shit. Bam, bam. Bam. Hey shark, how's it going? I'm running into a field. Yeah, but I don't know why people are crazy with that mass shit, right? It's like... Like, I understand, like... Well, I don't understand, right? Unless someone has, like, asthma or something. Like, severe asthma or something. I can understand that they're like, it, it's not good with my breathing. Well then, buy a mask that helps you with your breathing, right? Because I'm pretty sure wearing a mask is better than having your asthma worsen due to you getting sick for this shit, right? Or, hell, just just have something to cover your face, right? Even if it has to be like a, um... Like, I remember when it first started, uh, someone, someone went to the store, and they said, I went and bought masks, but I feel like you wouldn't wear a mask, so I bought you a ninja mask instead, and I went, damn right you did. <laughs> so I was walking around with a ninja mask <laughs> for like the first month or two. It was cool as fuck, too. Because I had a ninja mask on, I put a beanie over it too. So it just had my eyes poking through. And I was like, this is the best. I love this. Honestly, after like, once this all settles down with like the COVID and shit, I'm probably just going to be wearing masks all the time now. Because I really, I really always appreciated how like, well, I mean like Beijing and shit always had that because they just got shitty pollution in the air. But like, I always appreciated how like if someone was sick in like Japan or something, they're just like, I'm masking up, or people just mask up all day. And it's like, yep, that's normal. Now people can run around looking like Kakashi <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> Be like, man, I'm just doing this to keep safe. It's like, uh-huh, yeah, okay. Listen, I'm totally down for more style options. Got done with another Inyasha bitch, and you're dead. Fuck yeah, Ninja Mask. Yeah. Man, I, I'm i going to do that this weekend. I'm going to do it while I'm at work, too. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. While I'm at work, I'm going to sit down. I'm just going to watch TV. Because I've been meaning to, like, rewatch Inuyasha because they also have, like, the uh, the creator, like, last year towards the end of last year. It's like, I'm bringing back Inuyasha. Here's the kids. And look at the kids. The kids are cool. I'm just hoping that they can keep the, uh, for when I watch, I'm just hoping they can keep the same, uh, like cadence, like atmosphere and feeling that they did with the first Inuyasha. Because I don't want to, I don't want to watch like a fucking Sword Art Online or anything like that. I just don't. <laughs> I just really don't. Why am I running around in circles? I think I was waiting for the store to open. There we go. Pierre, buy my parsnips. You bitch. They're wonderful. They're beautiful. Buy my parsnips. Yay. Now the rest of my parsnips will grow. You're at the final act? Oh shit. You're, you're pissed that they changed Kagome voice. You ever played fucking Sly Cooper? Every game Carmelita Fox gets a new voice actor. And it sucks because the first game starts and she's just like normal. Then the second game starts and since her name is Carmelita, she has like a Spanish accent and it's nice and wonderful. And then third game happens and Spanish accent is gone. Then the fourth game came out. 
and then she kind of has it back. <laughs> it's weird. Also, today I just uh, finished a playthrough of Yakuza 4 because I wanted to unlock New Game Plus for whenever I feel like recording that or whatever. And as I was playing, I was like, what, hap what happened to this dude? Why is he so different now? Oh, wait, because the voice actor for him and the actor that they scanned his face off of in Japan don't do drugs. It's a no-no. They disappear you. They make you go bye-bye if you do drugs. Drugs are bad. <laughs> Japan's like, you kill the guy? Whatever, man. Seeing you in jail for like 10 years or something. You did drugs? You never hear from that person ever again. Like, literally, you just don't know what happened to them. Like, you try to find things out and people are like, I don't know, they're just gone. Maybe they never existed. Right? Let's see. Reach farming level one, craft a scarecrow. I should craft a scarecrow. I got a lot of fucking things here. Raise animals. Get started. Give my money. Can I make a scarecrow right now? No, I can't. I gotta start clearing out this farm. Then I unlock the ability to make a scarecrow. Taking notes. Don't do drugs in Japan. You found a geode. Geodude. You ever watch the Pokemon rap? And as they're rapping through the Pokemon, they're talking about like they get to Geodude and Graveler. And as they go to Graveler, <laughs> as they go to Graveler, it just slowly zooms in on a Geodude and the voice just goes Graveler. <laughs> it lasts for like a whole second. And you're just like, that's not a Graveler. <laughs> What the hell is that? I think they do the same thing with Growlithe and Arcanine. <laughs> like it zooms in on a Growlithe and it's like, Arcanine! And I'm like, what? You're lying to me. I know my Pokemans. I used to like the Pokemon songs that they did. Those were nice. That's called fuck around to find out. <laughs> That's nice. Also another actor from Yakuza. I think it was the chick who played the secretary for like Akiyama in the fourth game. Like she barely gets any screen time in later games because apparently she was like an idol at the time and she had like a... And idols aren't allowed to have like personal lives in Japan because, you know, all the weebs and shit have to be like a... Uh, I'd be like, she's pure and precious to me. So then they found out that she was having sex with one of her band members. And then all her shitty fans were all like, oh, what a slut. What a hussy. So she didn't get disappeared, but like, she definitely, definitely killed that career for like an idol. She still gets work, but like not as much. Because, you know, how dare you have sex? How dare you? How dare you be super good looking and ever, ever touch a single, a single penis. Meanwhile, the band member's sitting there crying and he's like, I can't even touch one teddy. Not even a one teddy. Nope. Hands off. <laughs> Hands off. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> Literally. Literally, you cannot touch her because she belongs to the streets. You can't have her, because everyone else already has her. Spiritually, of course. Man, the idol- the idol fucking shit in Japan is just, like, terrible. So bad. Like, you're not allowed to have your own life. You're not allowed- like, you gotta be, like, super fucking, like, skinny and shit. Like, super skinny. Like, I'm talking about less than 1,500 cows a day. And then you gotta break your neck dancing and shit. Getting the steps right. Yeah, idol culture is really bad. It's really fucking terrible. And I mean, it, I, I've i never finished Yakuza 5. I think that's the only Yakuza game I haven't finished. Not counting like a dragon or Yakuza Dead Souls, because I'm not playing Yakuza Dead Souls. <laughs> that game's bad. Um... But, like, 
I did pass like the parts in Yakuza 5 where you do the idol shit and they drill into your head that like man idol culture is fucked so bad and then when you play Yakuza 6 they're like man let me tell you how bad idol culture still is it is terrible it's bad hate all the standards for me yeah it is fucked up it's super fucked up it's fucked up but at the same time at the same time, you also gotta understand some, like, I'm about to say something super political, and I, people are gonna kill me and go down my throat for it. But real talk, at the same time, there are some women who are just kinda up their own ass, you know? For example, I've been on dating apps here and there. There's always the one person who's all like, Oh, don't message me without it being interesting or say hi or something, you know, don't say hi or hey. Meanwhile, you'll come up with, like, a nice, interesting one-liner different from each individual. And then their response is like, hey, hi. And then you're like, come on, man. You're like, come on. <laughs> come on, you can't do that. That's messed up. That's fucked up. That's what I call playing these games. And I ain't about that. <laughs> I want my goddamn plants to grow. They're gonna grow so beautifully. I just gotta go to sleep. That's all I can do right now is play and go to sleep. I don't even think the mines are open. Playing them games. <laughs> I can make a scarecrow! Yeah! If I wake up and crows are eating my fucking crops. Fortune teller, tell them my fortune. They are very displeased today. What the fuck did I do? Alright. All right, cool. Now, what do I need for this? I need wood, coal, fiber. I do not have coal. Ooh, that's bad. I do have wood, I have fiber. I do not have coal, so I'm... Then that means the, the mines must be open then, right? Oh, man. You know what really sucks about Stardew, right? I'm assuming unless you have like a mod on PC or something, this is why Rune Factory is better. You can't fucking automate this shit. More plants you make, you just gotta... Like, you can have sprinklers and advanced sprinklers, but they break and shit. And they only go so far. Meanwhile, in Rune Factory, you can take your monsters and you can feed them cookies or whatever the fuck, or haystacks, whatever the hell the game does. And then they'll just... And you can just tell them, now get to work on the farm, bitch. And then they'll just run around watering... And planting shit and harvesting shit while you go around and do whatever you gotta do is great. As long as you feed the little fuckers, they're fine. Feed them, keep them warm during the winter. You know, it's great. And then after that, you take your battle monsters with you and they help you fight. Some of them you can ride on them, ride into battle like your goddamn Link from Twilight Princess. Just like a monster. Room Factory is great. <laughs> that they are all seriously fucking around. You know what my favorite thing to find on a dating site? I mean, no offense, but it's like, I'm only here looking for friends. It's like, then go to meetup. What are you doing? I've been to meetup before. I've been to meetup. I met some friends. I went to some parties. Played some D&D here and there, right? Like, come on, man. <laughs> Why are you playing these games? It's like, come on, man. What are you doing? What are we doing out here? Oh, hi there. Why, hello. What an eyesore. Aw, oh, man. Why don't you fix it up, then? This is Pelican Town's community center. Or what's left of it, anyways. It used to be the pride and joy of the town. Always bustling with activity. And then we opened up a bar. Now that's the pride and joy of the town. Uh, now just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. 
But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Georgia Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so, so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town can use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old-timers like me attach the relics of the past. Oh well. If anyone else buys a JoJo membership, I'm just gonna sell the shit. Here, let's go inside. Well, there, there's a difference from, like, putting looking for friends first, right? You know, getting to know someone. And then someone just be like, I'm only here for friends, dog. Just friends, dude. It's like, then go to meetup. You're way, like, even if you're just looking for friends on a dating app because you want to be friends before you, you know, mess around with someone, your chances are still better on meetup, <laughs> right? Because not only that, not only that you got to play this back and forth game of messaging and not come off as a creep do, uh, through a message and to just literally be like, no, man, I'm seriously just trying to be your friend. Also, it's like when you do meetup, you're just like, all right, we're meeting up here. You're going to meet them in person. There you go. And it's usually a group gathering. So you have other options if you're really looking for romance. Now, of course, you will to die of someone else being uh, having being taken already, but still. It's a, it's a better, like, if that's what you want, that's a better strategy. What is this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. This place even mo looks more dilapidated than I remember. Holy shit! There's a ghost! What? What's the matter? Are you ill? Bitch, are you ill? Did you not see that? I know you're old, but open your eyes. Come on, man. You saw something. Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. Oh, there it is again. You're worrying me, man. I am worrying you. You should be worried. I'm worried. Look, I think I'm gonna head home. You shouldn't be going crazy. I'ma let you deal with your inner demons hey I'll keep this place unlocked for now maybe you can help catch them rats if you got extra time all right if you can put three fit for real you know uh, I remember having a having a conversation before with someone right and here here goes like a little bit more of a uh, this anime shit um by the way, here's the community center. You can, uh... Oh, well, first I gotta come and try and read this tablet, then I'll meet it. Then I'll meet a wizard who will teach me the ancient ways of this language. That's not a joke. I'll actually meet a wizard who's gonna teach me the ancient ways of the language. He's gonna make me drink some rank dink shit. But yeah, um, I remember having a conversation with someone, right? And... It, it, you know, a little bit of anime conversation. I'll, I'll get into it. You know, we were talking about Zelda and stuff. And, you know, we were talking about Breath of the Wild. My man was like, damn, Ouroboso, right? And I was like, you ain't, I was like, you ain't lying. That's it's pretty valid. You know, Ouroboso is pretty nice. Nice, tall, dark. Got those fucking abs. It's great. Crush me between those abs. I love them. Right? And then I was like, I was like, Ouroboso is nice. But I really like Sheik, though. You Have you seen Sheik's abs? Shit's crazy, dog. And then he just went like, nah, dude, that's a whole man you're liking. And I was like, really, dog? You're telling me. You're telling me that Urbosa, chick who's like 12 times bigger than Sheik, is more manly than Sheik? Come on. <laughs> He's like, that's a whole dude. He said, that's a whole nigga you crushing on right there. I was like, come on. You're, I was like, you're, stop clowning. It's not funny. I like Sheik. Sheik is nice. Sheik is great. I love Sheik. I, I firmly believe that in Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, for a moment Link must have believed he was gay because he was like, bro, Sheik is looking hella nice. Why am I so attracted to this dude? And then later on Sheik is like, I'm Zelda. And then he's all like, oh, thank God. <laughs> He's like, I knew it. Kind of like Kanji from Persona 4, if you ever played that. 
he's all like, man, I just feel really weird when I'm hanging out with Naoto. Like, the dude's just, the dude's just cool. And later on, Naoto's like, man, I'm a chick. He's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> and then Yosuke is still like up his ass. He's all like, bro, you still, you still into dudes? He's like, come on, man. He's like, that ain't funny. Stop it. Same with Mulan. Oh, yeah, straight up with Mulan. Well, Mulan was kind of different because Shang was like, man, Ping, you're pretty cool, dude. And then fucking he stitched her wounds up and he saw titties and he was all like, oh, a woman dishonorable. But I guess I'll let her live because she's kind of cute, though. And I did kind of see her titties. So, I mean, it's all right. <laughs> I bet that's exactly how that went down. He was like, eh. Also, she made a fool out of all the dudes. I'm just running around in circles. I need to go check if that, uh, those mines are open. That's what I'm really just waiting for. That and my parsnips to grow so I can get this backpack. Listen, man. W women ain't gotta be super womenly, right? Like, I like all women. It's fine. But there's just something about a girl with abs that's just nice, right? You're just like, damn, girl! Crush me between those damn things. I love it. That also reminds me, while I'm sitting here being a, being a creep and stereotyping women, I guess. Um... <laughs> Someone's going to take this out of context, and they're going to be like, this guy's an asshole. How dare you? Um, while well, I'm sitting here doing that, I should also say, as a, as a black man myself, I was never, I don't know where it came from, but I was never a fan of the whole, like, man, I need to ask, like, Kim Kardashian. It's like, what? No, I'm good, man. I don't need that. That's too much. It's too much for me. Clip it. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, it's too much for me, man. I can't, no. And this was like me coming out of high school. There was this one girl who I was friends with. who was con She would constantly show up to school like high as hell. Be like, man, man, can you tell that I'm high? And I'm like, I can totally tell that you're high, by the way. I don't know why you keep asking me, though. Honestly, I don't even know you like that, but whatever. <laughs> but it was just one girl, and I, like, not to sound like a creep, but to be 100% honest, like, she had a really, she had a really big backside, man. And it was just, like, really big. And, like, all the other dudes that I would, like, go to the gym with, they're just like, man, I love that. And I'm like, really? I'm like, that just seems uncomfortable. I'm like, huh, I guess I'm just not that guy. I don't need, I don't need that much, right? It's fine. Honestly, I'm not either. I'm, I'm not either, I'm not either a T or an A guy. Now, if you got some nice ass legs, we can start talking. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. Abs, legs, I'll take it. Eyes, I love eyes. Eyes are great. <laughs> you know? I'm just chilling. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Like, I don't need much. I don't need much to be happy. I'm fine. I got a sword, by the way. But I don't want to head to the mines because it's already the afternoon. So I'm just going to head to bed. That's what I'm going to do. All the spirits are... Oh, wait, hold up. Now I'll do it. I can't even do it now. I don't have coal. <laughs> I am a man myself. The Queen of Sauce! Oh, where we got the sauce? Greetings. It is I, the Queen of Sauce. Here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from the sacred cookbook. This week's dish? Stir-fry. And the kitchen whipping chicken like a stir-fry. Uh -uh. I learned how to make stir fry. Get the fuck from my cops, you dirty bitch! God damn it! 
My sources tell me you have been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of- First of all, don't ever call it your fucking chambers. My chambers are <laughs> so creepy. My chambers are west of the forest lake and the, st and the stone tower. I may have information concerning your uh, rat problem. Motherfucking bird came and started plucking out my crops. Damn it. I knew I should have just headed to the cave. I'm gonna do it right now. I'm just heading to the cave. Grab a piece of coal, make a scarecrow, come back. Motherfucker took my parsnip. You're gonna start looking like a parsnip if you ever fucking come back. That's all I know. Motherfucker took my goddamn parsnip. I'm mad. Just need some coal, that's all. Oh, I'm gonna have to throw something away. I don't got enough to carry this shit. Um, f uh, Go away, Fiber. I can get like a million of you. <sighs> Such a long truck. Such a long ass trucking all the way up to, uh, to the mines. The mines of Moria. You know, I have, I have Lord of the Rings Extended Edition Collection on Blu-ray. Oh fuck, I gotta, I gotta go down the ladder. I have it. Never watched it, never watched the Extended Editions, I just have them. I got that in motherfucking, um... I got a lot of Blu-rays. But I got that, I, I made sure to get me the fucking Iron Giant. I love that dude. At the end of the movie, he's like, Superman. And I'm like, no! That's my dude! Come on, man, just... Come on. Where's the ladders? Come on. What the fuck? Where's the ladder? Literally the last one. Second to last one. Go fuck yourself. How dare you. I just need a piece of coal, that's all, and then I'm out of here. Oops. Quartz. I can hold on to that. Um, shit. Well, get out of here. No one likes you. Nobody needs you. Just give me. Ah, fucking bitch. Come here. Alright, there you go. Um, oh, there it is. One piece of coal. One piece of coal, wood fiber, cool. I'm out of here. That's all I needed. Leave the mine. He said, I'm a T man, but I understand the A man. <laughs> yeah, me, it's not. Well, I guess. I. I guess, maybe. You can say I'm kind of. I'm kind of a T man, but it's not really that important. But not in the way that other men are. Listen, I'm just saying that I'm the I'm the pioneer of the itty bitty titty committee. That's just, that's all I'm saying, man. I'm just mm. listen. Big ones can fill your fill your hands, but uh, small ones will fill your heart. I'll take that. I'd rather be closer to my woman and not have like a fucking like a like a divide between us, a barrier of no, don't come near me. A natural, a natural defensive wall. You know, when I'm snuggling and hugging in bed, I just, just want to be near it. Just want to be near her. That's all. Ain't nothing mischievous about it. I want the full embrace, not the half embrace. Where the fuck? Here's my, here's my thing. I threw out all my fiber, didn't I? What a fucking dumbass. What a dumbass I am for doing that. Get the hell out of my inventory. I need to go pick up some fiber. That's what I need to do. How much do I need? Like 50? I need 20 fiber. 
That's what I need. That's not hard to get. That's fine. Almost there. One more piece. Come on. There we go. Do that. Grab some wood. Pull it together. Out of my way. Pull it together. Make me a scarecrow. How many pieces of wood do I need? I need 50. That's what I need 50 of. That's fine. I got this tree right here. <laughs> it's letting your girlfriend be in the small spot. Letting me be the small spoon. I mean, I'm fine with a small spoon. Have to. I'm naturally a short dude, right? I live in an area filled with short people. And I hate it. Because motherfuckers be like, oh man, I'm I'm five, I'm five eight and I'm so short. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you look down on me? Both literally and physically. How dare you? I'm a I'm a pretty short dude. But like So I'm fine with being a little spoon if I have to, you know? Listen, we both the same we both the same size laying laying down. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Just cause I'm little, doesn't mean I'm not acrobatic. I'm like Spider-Man. You know, speaking of Spider-Man, I was really happy for the longest time when it was like, yo, Miles Morales is like my height, and then now he's like five, what, like five eight, five nine, and I'm like, fuck! You're pissing me off. <laughs> you make me mad. Where's my superhero that's my size, huh? Also because I'm black and Salvadorian. He's black and what, Dominican? But like, you know. Is he is he Dominican or Mexican? I think he's Mexican actually. I feel like he's more Dominican than Mexican. I'm not sure. I don't I don't know. Hmm. Are scientifically harder to kill and better at lifting. Um I could say that in high school, back when I would take the gym more seriously than I do now, well, I was taking the gym seriously last year, and then the COVID happened, and then they closed down my gym, and then the gym moved out, so that sucks. But, um, my max bench, like, plus, like, counting the 45 bar was 280. And that was in, like, high school. That was, like, second year of high school, because then after that, I started, like, working in the daytime, and I went, like, to night school and shit. So I really didn't have access to, like, the school's gym that much. But a lot of people were surprised. But I never did like I never did like deadlifts. I never liked doing deadlifts. I'd never want to do them. Ever. Like I'm fine with squats and shit. I wish I had an ass like fucking like like solid snake. That's an ass that every man wants. You want it. You know you want it. You will never say it out loud, but you know you want it. That man got cheeks of steel. You want that. You want that for your own. You gotta admire that. That's dedication. Alright. Well, I guess I can go meet the wizard. You're five nine and can hardly do a push up. Oh man, try like when you when you don't fucking when you don't do anything for like two weeks at all, it instantly catches up to you and your muscle starts degrading. <laughs> Then you get to the point where you're like, man, I can do my push-ups, and then you go, and you're like, you're like, oh my god, and then you hear, you hear the bones cracking, <laughs> and you're like, oh no, it's happening. <laughs> you start freaking out. I mean, that's why, I mean... Can't do push-ups, just find like a different chess exercise to do, you know, checks chess and uh chess and tries? Tries? I think tries would help out. A little bit of abdominal too, right? I fucking hate ab workouts so much. Oh man, I just hate the feeling. When you're done and then you're like, oh man, I don't know if I'm if I'm gonna throw up, if I'm gonna have a cramp, I don't know what's going on here. It sucks. Gravity just came and killed me. Oh, yes, come in. Come in. 
better leg muscles. Used to be a strong swimmer. I used to swim all the time. <clears throat> and then I stopped. I am Ram Ramodius, Rosmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. You look like a seeker of something, that's all I'm gonna say. Mediary between physical and mediary between physical and and uh, 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 master of the seven elements. All right, if you're such a master of the seven elements, why are you living in a fucking rickety ass shack in the middle of the woods? Keeper of the sacred chai, you get the point. Of the sacred chakrams. And you, fire, are the one whose arrival I've been I've long foreseen. Whatever, man, get on with it. Make me high. I don't feel like reading all the dialogue. That place in Power Lift Work now? <laughs> Never worked abs, yeah. Abs just suck. Abs are like, you know what really, I mean, having, you know, getting your abdominals is nice. I really would like, one of these, one of these years, I'm not gonna say days, one of these years, I'm definitely gonna, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna start getting into a, into a, what is it, calisthenics, because I would love to do, like, you know, just, like, I would love to just spin around a fucking pole like a stripper, <laughs> no, for real, though, I would love to, uh, I would love to do, like, the human flag and all that shit, you know, that's just cool to me, I would just love to do it, but you need to do a lot of abs for that shit, you need a lot of core control and that stuff. And it's nice to have ab muscles, but it's also weird that having ab muscles isn't what makes you get f visible abs. That's more of a body fat percentage thing. No? Have I ever picked up a fifth of a ton? Nope. I don't think I want to either. I would probably. Oh, man, one thing that I really never liked from weightlifting is uh, is getting calluses. Like that's why you wear gloves, but like still, I mean, sometimes they just get you, right? It's like friction and shit, even with gloves. Um. But yeah, I I never want to do that. I feel like I would end up making like like tearing my hands and fucking making them bleed. I'm too short for that, anyways. I'm too short for that anyways, just lift it up and barely get it off the ground. What is a fifth of a ton, actually? Is that like, I feel like that's like, what is that? How much is a ton? Is a ton a thousand? Four or five. Ton is two thousand. Okay. Um. I remember I. Yeah, the most I probably did was something with legs, and it's like, I think like three oh five or something. I don't know. I don't remember. I just remember like getting to the three hundred mark, and I was like, "Yep, not going past this. Not." ever going past this don't want to <laughs> don't want to because i i don't want to hurt anything <laughs> ever also i was like still in high school at the point at that point so i was like yep nope not happening man i remember this kid uh well i say this kid he's a he's a buddy of mine but, um, <laughs> I remember him, like, in middle school, nerdy kid, you know, glasses, everything. Let's see. 425 deadlift. Squat. It was definitely, alright, yeah, it was definitely squat for me. With, um, not squat with 300, what am I saying? Uh, squat, what was my max squat? My max squat was probably, like, I never really want to go crazy with the squats because of how you hold the weight. So probably like, I think it was like, I never went past anything like 230, I think. Because I just, I don't want to hurt anything. 
to me it was just like get the motions going i don't want to hurt anything i'm not i'm not into like the bodybuilding aspect i know some people who are uh but for me it was mostly just about like you know getting not not getting like i'm not gonna sit here and be the guy who's like yeah i, I did it for getting healthy because i know everyone likes to say that and that is that is a very nice lofty goal but i'm like i just did it because i want to look good i want to look good for myself i want to be a cool guy that was it i want to be a cool guy but not a cool guy i want to be like i want to be like spider-man it's not about looking good it's about being strong I never had pro like even before weightlifting. I never had problem with like helping move stuff and stuff like that because we would move a lot. Like me growing up, I would move a lot to different places, so I would always like you know help get shit in the packing truck and stuff like that. So I never had a problem with that. So being strong was never like the thing for me. I just wanted to look. I just wanted to look fine. And now those glory days are over. <laughs> I let it all go. And I feel great for it. I feel fucking fantastic. Alright. Water up. My crops. Make them grow nice and strong. There we go. Hello. I haven't encountered any crows yet, but you will soon, my friend. You will soon. <laughs> your neighbor and your neighbor's neighbor. I believe it. My neighbors are, uh... My neighbors are quite old. And my neighbor's neighbor is quite old. <laughs> so, I believe it. I know I definitely can't do what I did in high school. I just want... I love how they tucked down the gym that was like near my job. It was easy to do. It was easy to get there and stuff like that. And then they're like, oh, don't worry, but we gave you a cool membership to this gym like two towns over. And I'm like, go, go fuck yourself. It's not happening. So, you know, it's only so much that I can do in the home. And then I just got tired because I got so busy doing everything else and I said, fuck it, I don't care no more. What am I doing this for? I don't need to do this right now. So I stopped. It's like it's like when uh it's like when I went vegetarian. I went vegetarian for like fucking three months before. And as I was doing, I was like, you know what? This isn't bad, but like there's really no reason for me to do this. I just want to do it because I want to try it out. And also, it's just super inconvenient. I'm not heading to the store every time. So, uh, where's, where's the, uh, where's the chicken and turkey? I'll take that. Thank you very much. Start scarfing it down like an animal. I loved it. I mean, I'll gladly go vegetarian again. I'll never go vegan, though. That's not happening. You can't force me to go vegan. I'll never do it. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. I need to... I need to sell these parsnips. I had to run around a bit, wait for the store to open. That's what I was doing. Because the store opens at 9. Pierre, buy my parsnips. Buy my snips. Get some of these fucking snips. You're damn right. Come on. Come on, Pierre. Come on, Pierre. Come on, Pierre. Come on, man. I need, I need 2,000. I gotta get that backpack. Out of my way, Marnie. Just eat shit that comes out of the ocean and you're good. You mean like pescatarian? Yeah. I did that before too. I did that in high school. <laughs> like, I have no problem with that either. Honestly, I, like, I have no problem with anything. I can, you know, I know how to cook. I can, I can make things taste good. But like, I don't know. I guess at some point you just kind of go like, eh. I want to, I want to rip a bird apart. Just want to do that. That'll be fine, right? Start ripping birds apart. Do I have more? I do have more parsnips needs, right? 
Oh, I planted them all. Plant them all, I'm waiting for those to grow up. I know right now that my, uh, that my sister, like, like, states away from me. She fucking, she's just, she's just constantly on her shit. And she's all like, lost another five pounds today. And I'm like, whatever. My sister's, like, even shorter than me. <laughs> so I'm just like, whatever, pimp squeak. <laughs> she's like, shut up. I'm like, pimp squeak. She's my older sister, too. So it's great. I love being taller than her because I'm short and I feel empowered. I'm a big man. A big strong man. <laughs> Curse me and my stubby little legs. And then I have a cousin who's like way shorter than her. <laughs> and she's just like really tiny. is copper, right? There we go. Gonna start needing to collect that shit soon. I gotta change my stuff. Put the sword next to the pickaxe. Make it easier for me. I mean, once you get the sword, I don't think you really need the, uh, the sight at all. Because you can just use the sword. Slime ass motherfucker, come here. You dirty slime ball. I got topaz, hey, and amethyst. If I can pick it up, which I can't. Got some geodes and some coal that I can't pick up. Get these fucking monster guts out of here. I want the geodes, they're nice. Uh, slime, stone, get rid of the slime. The rest is sap and green algae. I can use green algae right now, because someone wants it for me. Um, I can always get stone. Fuck out of here, Sap. Picked up the coal. I can always replace that. Cool. Let me just grab these copper. If I can face the right way, that'll be nice. Face the other way, motherfucker. Stop turning around. There you go. Get the rest of this copper, and then I'm out of here. Can't carry too much. Eh, actually, I can make it to the fifth floor. That will be nice. I can make it to the fifth floor. That's a checkpoint. There we go. Now I am out of here. Got a smaller center of gravity. You are legit harder to kill. I know. I've. I remember. Um. I did spend some time, some time last year, just because I was like, I'm. I'm not into like MMA or anything like that. But I was like, it'll be nice to learn like a fight style or something, right? You know, just to just for fun and stuff. And I was like, what is a good fight fighting style for uh for like smaller people? And I think, I think the consensus was Muay Thai was like a better was like the best one it's also super lethal with like killer kicks and fucking honestly in my mind kicks are cooler than punches i love them so i was like maybe i might want to learn some fucking muay thai that'd be fun that'd be a nice little extracurricular to do i really just i just like i just like really like creative things you know Anything that can be viewed as, like, an art form, I kind of like it. That's just it. That's just who I am. So even, like, even, like, fighting styles like that, even though, I mean, you can use them in, like, real-world situations for, like, self-defense and stuff like that, but, you know. 
To me, I just want to know more about it, really, like first-hand experience. I'm always a doer instead of a observer. Uh, I'm going to grab this green algae because somebody wanted it for like a quest or some shit. What's this? Deeper in the mines. Reach level 40. Oh, shit. Honestly, I love getting punched in the face. Yeah, I don't... Like, there's something about... There's something... I don't know what it is, but... At some point... Once you learn that you can survive a hit... There's something primitive... In the body that's just like... I want to, like... I want to beat the shit out of something and get the shit beat out of me, too. <laughs> something primitive in that nature. Maybe that's why when I play Yakuza and they start just ripping their shirts off and they're showing their fucking tats and they start brawling it out I'm like oh shit yeah kill each other I'm like it's the hypest shit ever most manliest fight it's great like it's like it's uh it's anime in the most realistic way for like Yakuza series because you have some weird anime shit that happens there and there. But like... Most of the time it just boils down to two dudes ripping their shirts off. You know. Showing the print on their back. And they're like... Trying to beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> and it's great. And I love it. It's, it's so hype every time it happens. It's never not the hypest thing ever. I think that's also why I'm not really that much of a fan of boxing, because I just know how fake it is. <laughs> like, even when I was a kid, I never fell for it. The only thing I ever really liked is uh, Rey Mysterio. Just because small-ass dude fucking flipping everybody around and shit. Literally crawling on them like he's fucking Spider-Man. My mom loves wrestling and shit, so whenever wrestling's on and she sees Rey Mysterio, she's just like, oh, come look. Fucking little, little Spanish boy's on. She says it just like that. She's like, little Spanish man is on that you like so much. I was like, you mean Ray Mysterio? That's the guy. That's the dude right there. Love Ray Mysterio. I'm trying to think, do I have enough time to do anything else today? I don't think so. I think I can just head to bed. That'll be fine. I guess I can fill up the watering bucket so I don't have to do it in the morning. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Sparring is great. There's always at some point, some point in a, in a kid's life where they're just like, hey man, me and my friends just want to like beat the shit out of each other. Is that okay? It's okay we just beat the shit out of each other. I love it. It's so great. Like, I like it, but I'm not, I'm not like an active uh, fighter type of guy, right? Like, I don't want to fight anyone unless I absolutely have to. I'd rather talk my way out of a situation. But like, when it's all just, you know, when it's sparring and people understand it's sparring, then yeah, I'm all about it. Go ahead, swing. Love it. Notice that you've been breaking some rocks open. Found some ore. That's good. What, motherfucker? Are you watching me? If you want to get the most out of the ores, you'll need a furnace. Yes, I know that. Just so happens that I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Why, thank you. You got the blueprints. Dun, 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 dun. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Furnace allows you to smell metal bars. That's cool. Now get the fuck off my land. When you smell a few copper ores, consider having me upgrade your tools. Oh, so you just... You just gave me the blueprint so I can make it myself so that I can... So I can pay you to do shit. You did it for money. That's smart. I admire that. Look at my fucking parsnips. 
most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I love it. There we go. I see you've been exploring the old mines, have you? The adventurer spirit that much, I can tell. You can slay ten slimes. You have earned your place in the adventurer's guild. Fuck you, Merlin. Your hippity hoppity scoppity doppity. <laughs> Ever watch the Disney uh, Sword in the Stone film? And Merlin's just like picking up the teapots and shit. He's like, wickety, fackety, crackety, dackety. And I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> And then, and then he forgets what he's saying, he looks at Arthur, he's like, Oh, where was I? And Arthur's just like, uh, hockety-pockety? <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, hockety-pockety. <laughs> so fucking goofy. He really looked confused too, he said, uh, hockety-pockety? <laughs> Come on, open the store. I'm like those crazy people who sit outside for... Alright, so I understand, right? Because I guess I'm a game war, right? And I understand when people are like, I'm gonna wait for a midnight release on something. That's cool, whatever. You know? Before the COVID times. And like... I understand, you know, all that. Craft the furnace, fuck you. But what I never understand is when people are like... Let me stand outside a store all night so when it opens, I can enter this clothing store that's literally the same as this other clothing store. I never understood people stand outside for a fucking clothing store, ever. It's like, there's literally the same one down the street. And it's not even like... It's not even like the shutters were closed or anything like that. It's like, you can see all the displays from outside. You can just see the displays there. You can see that they have the exact same clothing line. Nothing different. Why are you waiting outside for this store? Go to the other one. <laughs> it's literally down the block. Like, I never understood that. I'm just like, there's nothing different here. Pierre, buy my parsnips. My schnips. Buy my schnip schnips. There you go. I need to keep this star one, though. Give me this backpack! I want it! It's mine. I can now carry more shit. Yay. Look at all the space we have. Yay! That's great. And I think the other one is like, what, 40,000 or something? Let me see. 10,000. Okay, it's not 40,000. That's a lot for a backpack. <laughs> Getting punched in the face is better than- Mmm, I'm not sure about that one. I love my coffee now. I love it. I drink it every day. Listen, if you're not used to drinking black coffee, give it a shot. Learn how to drink black coffee. You'll thank me later. Black coffee is great. It's amazing. Go to a cafe, they're like, we want like coffee. They're like, you want sugar milk? I'm like, nope, just black coffee is fine. Take it. Drink it now. Why did I go to bed? Why did I do that? I gain nothing from that. The Queen of Sauce! It's a rerun. I learned nothing. I learned nothing. <laughs> Alright. Hello, Fire. You see this dog here? Yes, I do. I do see that dog. Man's best friend, don't you know? I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray. Poor thing. Okay. Hey, it seems like this. Uh, it seems like it seems to like this place. Do you think the farm could use a good dog? Sure. Yeah. Yogi. I'm not naming him the Yogi. What we got here? Gopu. Keku. Bobo. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Haha. Got you. Take your tea without sugar and you don't fuck around. That's what I do. When I started drinking black coffee, I was like, you know what? Unsweetened tea is fine. I love, I love it. Rillaboo. Leko. Snoo, Sunu? Lumpy. Genu. T 
Tetherbell? What? What the fuck are these names? Alright, hold up. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no. 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 That's your name. Snooch. There you go. Well, Snooch, be a good pooch now. Pooch, Snooch the pooch. Oh shit, I, look, I looked at the screen too late, my bad. I didn't know you wanted to name the dog, I'm sorry. But don't you love Snooch? Snooch is a great name. Look at Snooch, where the fuck is he? Where are you, where are you at, you dumbass animal? You dumb, stupid little fuck. Where the fuck is this dog? He, I gave him a name, gave him a home, and he left me already. Ungrateful little bitch. How dare you? Where the fuck is this dog? Is he inside? He might be inside. There you are. Hey, Snooch! Look at him. He's adorable. He's an adorable little fucker. All right. I need to put this away for the farming festival that I probably will never show off in this game ever. Um, let me see. <laughs> That's okay. Honestly, I was about to snitch, uh, snitch? Wow, what the hell was that word? I'm about to switch to Dead by Daylight. That's what I'm about to do. <laughs> Play a little bit of Dead by Daylight. Got like a little bit of time left for the stream, so might as well. Get the fuck out the way, Snooch. Head to bed. Make sure the game saves. I'm a chef What else should I be? Please don't take off.